much, Sri Lanka. Welcome back to the show. Now we have Yoshita who is still with us on the show as well. She's here to speak to us about a new direction, which is the Sri Lanka International Performing Arts Festival. And we also have another guest artist who will be featuring on the performance on the 21st of December as well, and that's Claudio Di Meo. He is a piano player, a composer, as well as a conductor, and he studied, uh, he graduated with honors from the Conservatorio in yes, Italy. Absolutely. And in 2012, he actually won the award for the best accompanist of the year. So those are some amazing credentials, and you're here with us on the show this morning, Thank Claudio. You. Good Thank morning. You. Good morning to you. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's lovely to have you here bright and early. <laughs> it's yeah. a pleasure for me. <laughs> All right. So and with that introduction, I'm guessing every single pianist watching this is like, oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, yeah, Bow down to Claudio. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, this is the first time you've come down to Sri Lanka as well, yeah. same as Susan, who was yeah, on the earlier the time, segment. Yeah. So, what uh, do you like Sri Lanka so far? Yes, I hope to come back very soon. Nice. Okay. And we heard that you have like a favorite food now here in Sri Lanka of as well. Of course, kotturuti. <laughs> <laughs> he knows Sri Lankan already, kotturuti. Yes. That's all the Sri Lankan you need to know. Don't worry. <laughs> so that's good thing at least there. So you're here, you're working with uh, Yoshi on the festival as well. Uh, how did you get to know about it? How did you get involved? I, when Yoshi, Yoshi uh, called me, mm -hmm. more or less, one year ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she told me about the, her idea. And when she sent me the first video, Dance, I started to compose the music. Wow, okay. But when I arrived here in Sri Lanka, I realized that I had to change something. The, oh. the music and mm -hmm. the time, because it's different to work in front of the video and yeah, in yeah. real with dancers. So yes. It's, it was a very interesting work, very interesting work. So that's an amazing collaboration there, where you've choreographed right. a piece and then Susan you send it to him, yeah. he watches yes. it and he composes yes. the yes. music yes. for it. The, uh, the difficulty is because uh, <coughs> usually mm, a dancer make a choreograph on a music. Yes. <laughs> but this time yes. I had to, <laughs> ma <other> she <laughs> to, to make a choreograph mm -hmm. without music. Mm -hmm. So. It How did you manage that <laughs> choreography without music? That <laughs> seems like completely <laughs> disjointed. Right. Yoshi? Um, usually, yeah, like he said, I usually get inspired to create when I hear the first piece of music. Right. So it was, for me, it was difficult. I had to keep the idea in mind and think of something that I like. I had an idea of what kind of music it should go through. Right. So you would hum it in your head, I'm guessing? Like uh, I can't <laughs> sing. I can <laughs> only dance. <laughs> I wish I could sing. <laughs> But um, well, I trusted him, and I said, "This is my video. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's all yours. Make me something beautiful." <laughs> and yeah, well, uh, he did. <laughs> so I'm guessing oh, Susan is the one who made the video as well. Um, no, th so this video is just um, my practice video with right. my dancers, okay. and just so that he, because he lives in Italy, I live in Singapore, oh, wow. and so it's just through the video that mm -hmm. he could see what we've done, mm -hmm. right. and also the space is very different from the studio space to yeah, the yeah. actual space that we actually danced on, mm -hmm. on last Saturday, right. so the timing where he composed like maybe what, 10 sets of 8, became 12 sets of 8, or either became 12 became like six sets of ways because of the space and mm -hmm. so he had to adjust and we had to adjust mm -hmm. um, but it was easier because he can watch us and we can hear him so right. uh, it all worked really fine I it totally know fine. what you were talking about eight sets oh yeah <laughs> I totally knew that yeah because they used to think someone who knows music would understand what you're saying right yes. but they used to only think I could count up to eight because I was, I was one two three four five oh, six right, seven okay. eight one two three four ah I see <laughs> they now I like, know Yoshi do you only count up to eight <laughs> <laughs> You can go up to other yeah. So, But Claudio, now how has it been so far? You've been in Sri Lanka for uh, just a bit less than a week. And is the are you enjoying the festival so far? Yes. And, yeah. what, and what are the other things that you, you've collab... Now you have other artists. Now we heard that you're playing the piano and you're accompanying with a Mexican artist as well. Yes, Who's of down here. So what yeah. is that like? But it's very interesting because we are different, we come from different places, mm -hmm. but I think that sometimes you don't need to, to talk, to speak the same languages okay. to, okay. to understand, mm -hmm. because in music everything becomes easy. 
So you only need to play and everything oh, is done. Everything Imagine a phone conversation between the two. You <laughs> wouldn't know what to say, just playing the piano. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> That sounds like a pretty awesome conversation. <laughs> but so what, I mean, you were communicating with Claudio, who was in Italy while you were in Singapore. I mean, and the other artists are from all over the world as Mexico well. Mexico and... Uh, wow. Yeah. So how did that collaboration happen? I mean, that must have been a lot of um, sleepless nights, maybe? Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> because in sing from Singapore to Italy, it's what? How many Seven hours. hours. Seven hours. So wow. when he finishes work, <laughs> it's like two o'clock in the morning for me. Oh. All right, so let's do this now. Let's <laughs> choreograph. Uh, let's, let's, let's make the music for this section of the dance mm -hmm. right, okay yeah. <laughs> all right then <laughs> so there's, yeah it, 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 and and even everybody else the emails and the replies it's always different timings mm -hmm. uh, but it's been exciting and oh, of course it's been tiring but it's now that we're all here together and we have experience but the, how the show went and mm -hmm. we're still working towards the next show yeah. It's all, it's all very, it's all worth it. All the hard work and the planning and sleepless nights. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. all worth it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm guessing, like when you first started this, you obviously had a vision of what you wanted to see in the future of Sri Lanka yes. when it comes to the arts. Yes. What is that vision? Where do you see it in, let's say, ten years from now? Oh, ten years from now. <laughs> it's all you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd like to see. I like to see people doing um, performances in unorthodox orthodox places basically right. mm -hmm. not just theater performance uh, maybe um, in an old building where we could ticket a show and even a street performance mm -hmm. um, something in the park maybe um, and a lot more uh, collaborations with different artists as, as well because when you collaborate from with different people mm -hmm. you become a, like for me as a dancer and a choreographer something changes in you because you get to respect the other person's work yeah. right. and then you get to hear their side of view and mm -hmm. you know it's 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 a lot of exchange going back and forth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you actually grow as an artist and it's it's really nice because and you've I've got some of the best people in their fields oh who yeah. have come down yes to yeah. yes definitely yeah. definitely yeah. um it's been really nice and i think i feel more richer with mm -hmm. being amongst all these people yeah. Uh, all these musicians mm -hmm. and uh, my dancers and my choreographers That's as well. Amazing. So wow. it's a very rich, full experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very nice. And has it been the same for you, Claudio? What's your favorite part about Sri Lanka? <laughs> the performance here. <laughs> favorite things um, on the 14th while you were performing at Barefoot Cafe. What was your favorite moment? Yes, I think I, I think it was there. I think it was in Barefoot Cafe. Mm because it's um ambience yes it's uh, the the perfect ambience yes the perfect we, um, near the tree uh, mm -hmm. so it was very very beautiful for me mm -hmm. the, sp the space just inspires you yeah. right. it's just okay. a different space so just being there and working there it's just, it just feels very different and even to have a performance there it just feels so relaxed and yeah. something special, very yeah. special. When I was playing, the the sound was in the hair, so it in was hair, yeah. in yeah. the hair. Yeah, so. so you felt that. Yes. At that course. moment. Yes. And now, have you started rehearsing at the auditorium as well? Our first rehearsal was, yeah, yesterday. Okay. Yesterday. And how did that feel? Wow, that must have been a really long night because <laughs> yeah. you managed to make it here in the morning. It's That's not like true. this story. <laughs> That's very really funny. Morning, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have rehearsal <laughs> yesterday and one today as well. And first, the show opens on Saturday at eight. Right. Tickets are sold at Bishop's College of Yeah. So please come and buy your tickets. <laughs> oh yes, they will. Uh, so that's a message that we're giving out to all of you. Now you've heard so many things. It's a completely new concept that's happening here in Sri Lanka. So many artists of a very high caliber are here in Sri Lanka from so many different uh, streams and media, and they're all here to bring something that uh, they learn from all over the world here to Sri Lanka. And uh, Yoshita is spearheading that entire movement. Thank you so much for being with us on the yeah. show. It was Thank a real you. pleasure to have Such you here this pleasure. morning. And Claudio, you were as well your first time here in Sri Lanka and you're on TV. Yeah. How good? <laughs> 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 you say hi to your mom. <laughs> 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 so thank you so much for being yeah, with us thank here this you morning. Thank All you. the best to you, you as well. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, Jason. Well, so I think we Yeah, unfortunately we are at a time but at the end of this segment, but we'll be having our right. Oh yes. Coming on the next segment. Up on next. She's mm -hmm. about to tell us what to get your kids on Christmas. Yeah. What not to do to spoil them. <laughs> 
very I important segment coming. So do stay with us here on Good Morning Sri Lanka.